Hi friends, welcome to 30 Inks 30 Days, day nine. Starting off with looking at yesterday's, the lovely golden barrel. Here's what that dried splat looks like. I dig how there's this halo of um, an orangey sort of color around it. Which I feel like you can see a little bit here. And then that's, of course, the actual shimmer. Uh, and our calendar-ish. <laughs> but that was yesterday. Time to move on to today, which is turn the page. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Alt Goldgrün. Um by Rohrer und Klinkner. Apologies, everyone, for my rubbish German. But hey, I try. So, and the pen I'm putting this in today is my vintage uh, Ever Sharp. I think this is the wall uh, Doric or Doric Jr. In pretty good shape, though I did just see that there is a little bit of a crack right there. I mean, this pen is like a hundred years old or something, so it's all right. Let's hope for luck in filling this. This has a sack in it that I somewhat recently replaced. Hopefully that should have been far enough in there to ink it. <laughs> I'm going to put a little in here. And clean this off. This is my first and only vintage pen. It's a fairly small one, which is why I think it's the junior, but then I don't know. Maybe this is actually not small and it's normal. Oh, let's get this going. Yeah, that's readable. Not legible mind, readable. Oh, it is early and it is already pretty warm. It's supposed to hit uh, over 100 degrees on the day I'm filming this. My water that has been sitting here has evaporated somewhat. Oops. So. Try and write thirty inks, thirty days. Um, what day are we on? Day nine. <laughs> All right, and we'll say the ink is, let me make sure I spell this right. I would have gotten it right, that's nice to know.
This pin is lovely. Hold on, I'm going to take this out. Here is our chromatography thus far. Hang that up to dry. Um, something I haven't done with the other pens. I'll do with this. It has a pretty good amount of flex without trying. Uh, but I do think I'm going to sell this because I feel like I don't know if it's because it's vintage but and it's gold, but I have heard that that can cause um, essentially the nibs to sort of um, how do I put this? Kind of form to the handwriting of whomever owned them and it was really unlikely to have been owned by a lefty. And um, it kind of gets in the way. Hey, yeah, maybe we'll fix this while we're at it. That's nice to do. And now we'll splat. Oops. And knock off our drying thing. I gotta leave it in the water less time. I, I keep telling myself that and failing to. No, I want you to go that way. Yeah, thank you. I spent some of this morning watching recaps of the San Francisco Pen Show. Well, watching, reading. Um, I really liked it. And by all accounts, it's like the best one that there is. So that feels good. Um... I'm even at this point debating whether I want to do my transcribing with this pen. Maybe just one page instead of the three pages. Um, it's going pretty well. I've almost caught up. To today. But not quite. My arm is weak. So, quick one today, I think. Uh, I'll put that there real quick. So, Thanks for hanging out with me today for this 30 Inks 30 Days. Hope you have a wonderful day.